Hey everyone! Welcome back to Minty Kids. Today we're going to be reading this wonderful book called Slothy Wants Coffee, written by Nikki Pezopane, as well as Cameron Fika, and illustrated by Yuri Borgen. Check the description below for a link which will take you to Nikki's site so you may purchase your own copy for your home library. Anyway, let's get to it! Slothy lived in Costa Rica with his mom. He was very adventurous and loved to travel. As Slothy's mom drank her morning coffee, he wondered, is Costa Rican coffee the best in the world? Costa Rica The way Costa Rica grows coffee beans is good for the environment. Coffee beans can grow in eight different regions. The beans are picked by hand and are of the highest quality. Costa Rica only has two seasons, dry and rainy. Both are great for growing coffee. Slothy decided to go on an adventure to find the best coffee in the world. He packed his backpack with clothes, a toothbrush, and clean underwear. Slothy headed to the airport for his first stop. Colombia Colombia is a country in South America. It is the perfect location for growing coffee. There's a bean for every taste. Most of the country's coffee is grown on small, family-owned farms. Slothy hopped off the plane and met a new friend, Matias the monkey. Matias lives in Colombia on his family's coffee farm. Slothy picked the beans by hand, smelled the harvesting coffee, and relax under a banana plant. Colombian coffee was strong and delicious. Slothy wished he could talk more with Matias, but it was time to head to his next location. Ethiopia Ethiopia is a country in Africa. It is the birthplace of coffee, or bun, which means coffee in Ethiopian. Ethiopian coffee ceremonies are a part of Ethiopia's culture. They represent respect and friendship. Kids start drinking coffee as soon as they can walk and talk. When Slothy arrived in Ethiopia, he was greeted by Leah the lion. Leah lives in a cloud forest where coffee grows wild. A cloud forest is a tropical, foggy forest up near the clouds. Leah and Slothy played hide and seek, then tried a cup of traditional coffee with butter and a sprig of fresh root. Slothy finished his cup, said goodbye to Leah, and headed to his next stop. Brazil Brazil is a country in South America. It is known for its rainforest, especially the Amazon. Brazil is the largest coffee producer in the world. Brazil grows green coffee beans, Arabica coffee beans, and even the beans for instant coffee. Brazil's main coffee flavors taste chocolatey and nutty. Almost everyone who drinks coffee has tried Brazilian coffee before. Antonio the Armadillo met Slothy at the airport. To start their adventure, they took a tour of a coffee plantation and tried the chocolate tasting coffee. Then Antonio surprised Slothy by taking him to the Brazilian carnival. It only happens once a year and is the largest in the world. Slothy danced, watched parades, and dressed in bright colors. He didn't want to leave the fun, but he said thank you to Antonio and got ready for the next stop on his journey. Indonesia Indonesia is a country in Southeast Asia and Oceania. It is made up of over 17,000 islands. Across all of these, over 700 languages are spoken. One of the islands in Indonesia is called Bali. Coffee in Bali is very tasty. Bali produces the most expensive coffee in the world, Kopilua. It's made from civet cat poop. Outside of the airport, Kulan the Komodo dragon waited for Slothy in a tuk-tuk. They drove to a coffee farm where Slothy tried eight different coffee flavors. Some were dark, others were light, 
They were all delicious. Kulan and Slavi ventured to the ballet swing to swing above the trees before heading back to the airport. Slavi's final stop was Hawaii. Hawaii is the fiftieth state in the United States of America. It is the only state in the United States that grows and sells coffee beans. The Hawaiian Islands are full of volcanoes, and their volcanic soil helps healthy coffee beans grow. Kona beans are the most popular, but Maui maca beans taste great too. Hawaii has lots of coffee farms, and it has pineapple farms too. Slavi met his new friend, Pua the green sea turtle, at the beach. Pua was riding the waves, surfing in the ocean. He was excited to show Slavi the Hawaiian Islands. They went on a coffee and macadamia nut tour at a local farm. Slavi learned that the higher up coffee is grown, the more flavor it has. Next, they hiked up a volcano before attending a luau. A luau is a Hawaiian feast that features food, music, and hula. Slavi wished he could explore more, but his mom was waiting for him at home. Aloha, mahalo, he said to Pua. These mean goodbye and thank you in Hawaiian. Slavi headed to the airport. Slavi's mom was waiting for him when he arrived home in Costa Rica. He was tired from his travels, but which country had the best coffee in the world? Slavi thought it was too difficult to choose. How could he know which coffee was the best without trying all the coffee in the world? More adventures awaited. Well, everyone, we have finally reached the end of the story. But thank you so much for reading with me. I hope this book helped you learn more about different cultures. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for this week for more videos and stories like this one. Bye. Mendicants, making your name fun.